Hey, a pleasant good evening, everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be the quick, at most, three minute and a half, four minute, hopefully shorter pre or recap, excuse me, of the first period that the Flyers, after getting their goal, all of a sudden turned on the Jets and outplayed the Florida Panthers when beforehand they were not winning the possession game at all, not winning the faceoff game. And not winning <clears throat> just in general around the overall game. They were not looking like the better team. And then all of a sudden when they got the goal, it seemed to really get obviously the momentum going in their favor. Excuse me, because they got a goal when realistically early on before that 733 stretch, they were not the better team against the Florida Panthers. The Florida Panthers were the better team before Joel Farabee was able to bury the breakaway on a nice move past, um, or to get it past Bobrovsky's five hole. That was a nice, obviously, transition play up the ice to get it to Joel Fairby to get it through the five hole of Sergei Bobrovsky. But in this period, the Flyers did solid on the faceoff circle, 52.6, where before Fairby's goal, they were at, when I was looking at it, like 40-something percent when I got back from driving and saw it, and I was listening to Saunders and Coatsy. They really weren't really getting it going in the beginning seven of the game. Then when Fairby scored, they turned on the Jets. If the Flyers keep playing like this, they are 6-0-2 after scoring the first goal. So that's a great thing and a great sign, obviously. If they keep playing like they did after that Fairby goal, then they will be spot on, especially, obviously, if Martin Jones, who was 15-15 of on saves, came up huge early and also huge late, making a couple saves there on Carlson. Um, of the Panthers there, uh, Lucas Carlson, he was able to make some key saves on him, and then he also made a key save on Verhege late in the period as well, but other than that, the Flyers really did dominate them after that Faraby goal, and it's also obviously fantastic in a huge drought for Faraby since really the first five games of the season to really get him going and turning again. Coatsy brought it up on the broadcast. He really needs to get going again, as he's a big part of getting that offense back to how it was at the beginning of the season compared to how bleak it's been of late. But the Flyers, hell of a first period against a Florida Panthers team that their special teams have not been for the Florida Panthers oh so successful of late, but our Flyers still went 0-for-1. On the power play, so our power play is still cold, but minus that in the first seven minutes, once Fairby scored, that could t tilted the momentum, I should say, into the Flyers' favor, and they haven't gave it back to the Florida Panthers ever since. If they keep playing like that, Flyers have a great chance to win this game, and honestly have been a lot more impressive. I thought they just had to win dirty, and in the um, kind of, like, just not dirty, obviously, fighting and doing dirty plays, but just to get to the dirty areas and grind out the win and have the possession numbers way. But they've done a lot more than that since the Fairby goal. They keep doing that and impressing they can win this game against Florida. So this has been the Sports Fat News reaction to the Flyers' first period against the Florida Panthers, where because of Philly Joel, they are up one nothing. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe and subscribe if you enjoy the content. I really appreciate you all and really love the 148 or 158, excuse me, that have subscribed this far. Peace out, everybody.